Um, for that person listening, I think that if we be honest, we've all been there mm-hmm. at some point to whereas uh, either you began to grow older uh, <laughs> and things start pulling on you, whether it was friends or, yeah. you know, you were in the sports or whatever it was, start pulling on you. And it, yeah. It pulled you to the point to where as you just want to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. And you were told that, oh, you can't do that in church. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you can't go to the movies. You can't go to the movies. You, you, you can't yeah. go uh, listen to no music. Can't go listen to music. Yeah. You mean to tell me this, this same thing is boring? Yeah, yeah. Then why would I come to something that would have me almost at the point of thinking that I had to live a dull life? Yeah. And... Yeah. That's where the millennials have come in. Sure. That they have absolutely shifted the dynamic of the church. Mm. That we're seeing so many churches empty, so many yeah. churches closed because yeah. that, you know, the baby boomers and those before them, they're beginning to die out. Or sure. even they've come to the point of just saying, you know what, this is too sure. much. I want to go to the golf course and <laughs> I can get more on the golf course than sure. I can get. And so. Sure. I would say to that person who has maybe strayed away uh, and is looking for that way back, that whatever you do, don't base what you're looking for or who you're looking for on anybody else.